is this is so unreal it is so beautiful it is crazy so freaking unreal look at there the cows At the Tora in Samaliki National Park, we are heading to the female hot springs. When we get there, we're going to find out why it's called female hot springs. On this episode of Across Our Borders Going East, join me for a visit to the Sempaya Hot Springs in Semuliki National Park, Uganda. I have to balance myself so I don't tip, but can you see that? Can you see these beautiful fumes? On day two of my road trip through Uganda, we started off from Hoima. Day one, we had previously visited the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary and the Mochison's Fort. If you'd like to see the videos on this too, the link is on the right side of the screen right now. We started off from Hoima to make our way towards Fort Portal. This is a 196 kilometers drive. So roughly about three to four hours, we started off after breakfast. One interesting thing to note about this region as around the Renzuri ranges is the fact that it is popular for growing tea, tea production. So on the way to Fort Portal, we actually saw a tea plantation or a tea estate. Tea is one of the priority cash crops in Uganda. It was introduced early 1900s. It is so important that 80,000 farming households are involved in tea production. It supports over 150,000 skilled and unskilled workers. Approximately a million people directly derive their livelihood from tea growing. The regions where tea is grown in Uganda include the southwestern region, so the greater Ankole and the greater Kigezi subregions and also the Kenya Jojo on Kabarole region and the Mitiyana in central Uganda and Zumbu in North Uganda. If you want more information on this, I got this from the National Agricultural Advisory Services website. One interesting thing that has happened due to the revival of the tea industry in Uganda is the fact that they now offer Ugandan tea safaris. So if you're looking for something else to add onto your itinerary, this might be one of the things. For us, it was just a quick stop and it was interesting for me to see it. And then we continued to make our way towards Fort Portal. The drive from Fort Portal to the uh, Simpaya Hot Springs is 61 kilometers and it is an absolutely scenic drive that you must um, enjoy, take the time to enjoy it. If you'd like to concentrate on the drive, check out the link. Um, on the right side of the screen, I made a separate video just to show you the landscape because it's breathtaking. There is a viewpoint where you see the Renzuri ranges, so make sure you stop there and take that in. Otherwise, on the way to the hot springs, because you can actually boil um, bananas and eggs in the waters of the hot spring, we made a stop at one of the local vendors to get some bananas. This banana, all of this is one euros and it is fresh from the farm. So you got to come here and get this banana. What's your name? My name is Asimo Asimo Ma, are you a banana farmer? Yes. Where is your farm? In Zumbab. In Zumbab? So, hi guys, this is day two of our road trip through uh, Uganda. As you can see, the background of the mountain is absolutely beautiful. 
people actually live here and farm here so you will find houses in between the different levels of the mountain we are on the way to Semaliki and as you can see my baby here road trip you're gonna it has been taking us um, around the region here is actually my favorite right now because I love the mountains and I love um, the feeling it gives to you so if you do do come to Uganda you must do this part of it it's absolutely brilliant it's amazing and I'm going to use the toilet before we start on the hike and look at that fancy 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 it's very clean actually to be honest even though it's a squat toilet but it's clean everything else gotta go anyways this is what I look like although we haven't started so I have to wash my face and my hands all over again because I'm dripping like oh uh, I don't know so let me ask for the keys and wash my face and then we can go. I'm finished. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah, I think I need the keys to the car though. I have to wash my face. I'm already sweating. Let me get my uh, bottle from the car. And look at my face. I'm, <laughs> I'm already sweating and we haven't started. We are heading to the female hot springs when we get there. We're going to find out why it's called female hot springs. There is the female hot springs, there is the male hot springs. At the female hot springs is where you do the cooking. Um, right now the, it is too hot to actually encounter uh, bird life, but this park is actually a very good place to um, see some 35 West African bird species which normally migrate to this place. Um, so if you're a birder, it's known as um, a bird paradise. And of course, uh, with bird watching, Early mornings, evenings are the best time, but we are here for the hot springs. So we're going to go see the hot springs, uh, the female one and then the male one. And the interesting thing about this park is that it borders Congo. There's the Semeliki River and it borders Congo, a particular forest in Congo as well. And on the other side of it, to the west, you have the Ramazuri Mountains, which we passed all the way to here. And now we're going to go see what happens when you throw some bananas into a hot spring. Oh, I can smell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can smell it already. Yeah, they have a foul smell. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you say. Oh my word, guys. There you go. Guys, as promised, we are at the female hot springs. Can you see that boiling over there? Uh, uh, uh. I think you need nobody to tell you. I can smell it. Huh? Wow. Oh my God. Look at these colors. Wow. I think you will get, is it third degree bonds or first degree bonds if you fall into this water? Yes, extremely hot. Wow. This is 95 degrees It's what? 95 degrees Oh my God. This is natural cooking water, my people. And that is why we're going to start the experiment. You can see us putting the bananas in. They're going to be cooked without any fire. Fire, fire, burn them. There's no fire here. Yeah. This fire is on the ground. So we're also going to put the eggs. Okay. You can put that on. Oh. Where are you giving? At the same time or later? The same time. Okay. There's the eggs. Can I put? Can yeah, I put can the eggs? Put, yeah. Okay. So I let you film. No, you can film with that one.
So you use the spoon, eh? Ah, okay, I use the spoon. Yeah, you just put the egg on the spoon and you roll and throw it. Okay. To the spoon. Okay. Guys, this is me cooking at the hot springs, eh? <laughs> okay. In the middle. Oh my word. Hey, one then and one. And it's yawa. You can call them magma. Uh, so it's the source of the heat. So rain water or the people when it gets contact, it is super heated and escapes through, through the fault. And remember I told you this is a lift valley mm -hmm. and we are near that escarpment where there is a mine fault. Ah. And these are the small ones. So they ah. having that sulfur in it. Okay. A lot of sulfur in it. So these hot springs, when they stay in a place for long for long enough, mm -hmm. they develop what you call fountain. Like ah. this what? Algae. 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 Okay. But how comes you don't receive some flamingos to eat them? Because flamingo feed on algae. On hot algae? <laughs> not the hot one, but this one is not hot now. Wow. Oh my god. So guys, if you want to identify the female version of, what is it called again? The jet, so? Main jet. Main jet. It is characterized by having terraces, which you can immediately see here. And previously, this one used to shoot even higher than this. But oh my God, look at the beautiful colors and look at how that boiling water is coming out in that mountain background. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. You have to see this. You have to experience it for yourself. It's absolutely beautiful. Those hot springs are no more. Just a warm water remaining. It's no longer splashes. No? Yeah. So it can happen. But we don't need to die. Ooh. Look at our cooking. I think it is well done now. Yes. Moving the eggs mm -hmm. slowly. Not watch. Very hot. <laughs> Lunch is served. This is absolutely unbelievable. So let's see what the bananas look like. Oh, oh my god, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I have to, I have to wait, huh? Some minutes. Yeah, okay. So, guys, it's come out, but it's super hot. But you can see, let me see if I can try to hold it by the head to show you. It opened up already. Just ready when it's cracking. So when it's ready, how you know, cracks open. Mm, it can, can be ready without being cracked. Okay, it can also be ready without being cracked. But a good sign is if it cracks open, which this one did. It's super hot right now, which is why I'm not trying to open it because I will not be able to eat it anyway <laughs> because of the heat. But um, ah, and the water is salty. So I'm going to tell you if the banana is salty as well when I get to eat it. So 
stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, these are palm knots from which you make the red oil, the palm oil that maybe you've seen in so many West African cuisine. Actually, you can even eat it like this if you want. Um, and in Igbo, it's called efu. What do you call them here? Evinazi. No, in local language. Evinazi. Evinazi. So this is Evinazi in Uganda. The hot springs can be found in two areas. And there is actually a local myth behind the locations of these two hot springs. To get to the hot springs, you will do a trek through the forest. And what's interesting is whilst you're doing this, you have the possibility of encountering Mangabe monkeys, the red tail monkey, the black and white kolobus, and other things like the different vegetation. There is a tree house in the park that gives you an area view of the place. It is also quite well known for its bird life. And one of the special birds in this park is the dwarf hornbill, the blue kingfisher, and the yellow traded Nikato. I did not do anything else in the park as time did not allow me. There is an entrance fee, one separate for foreigners and the other for locals and also a separate fee for um, East African nationals. So uh, be sure to check out the website for the latest prices. Ooh. It's more like a pool, huh? <laughs> this looks like a pool. This looks more like a pool. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow. But it's good. Let me stand. This is treatment. Let me stand. I'm just letting the steam like hit me. Oh, it is, it is really good. The wind is blowing in the wrong direction though. So you can see the steam is going that way. I needed to come facing me, yeah. But uh, wow, that's a that's a that's the real deal. Okay, I need to know where to step. Okay. Ooh. So, oh, my shoes are not that. <laughs> which which one? The stone, this one. See the steam this is like it's cost and loss wellness so it's not cost and loss because you pay for the entrance but uh oh wow i come come to me come to me this heat mm, sanitize oh yes sanitize purify everything oh it's going away look at the oh, <laughs> look at the steam like my skin is going to be so nice after these guys like this is wellness Oh my god guys, this is the male hot springs and I have to balance myself so I don't tip. But can you see that? And you see this beautiful fumes. Let me show you what's interesting. We can see the bottom of the water. Like, OMG. And people are throwing coins into it. So look at the coins in there. They are beautiful. Oh, this is wellness pure. Look at that thing missed over. Okay, miss so the wind is blowing it. We're having an amazing background right now. Oh, that is good. Okay. Okay, let me just take some uh, shots from here. Welcome guys, we have made it to the male hot springs in the Semliki National Park. How do I know it's male? If it is a male hot spring, then it is in a crest form and we have sort of like a pool in a crest form here. What is beautiful about this hot spring is, as you can see, it is windy a bit today, so the steam is blowing towards me. So I'm having a natural sulfur steam bath included in my park fees that I pay. But what is nice is that the pool itself is very clear, so you can see to the bottom. For the people there where it's dark, you know that it's the part of like the deepest part of the pool. And it's also crystallized as well here because there is salt in it. And also it's farming salt crystals on it, the white stuff you can see. Otherwise you have the algae and the red stuff, I do not remember what they are, but it's a beautiful landscape right now. 
So if you do visit, make sure you come up here and get a feel of how hot this water is. Around here, people actually believe in it. So you can see that structure there. It is a shrine for the local people. And there is a story that has it that these are actually the ancestors of the people of here. So a man went into the forest and he died. And uh, his wife went to look for him and she also died. Hence, this is where the man died. And where the female hot springs is, is where the woman died. So if you come here as a local person, you might as well believe you are visiting your ancestors. If you come here as a tourist, you're getting all of it, depending on which one you choose to believe. So do come and check it out and let's enjoy the steam bath in absolute silence. After that, it was then our drive back to Fort Portal, amazing road, as I already mentioned, the quick stop at the viewpoint, and then back to Fort Portal for the night. look very much at what's on the sign maybe we need to take a picture of that it says welcome to Toro Semliki wildlife reserve activities game drive so the walk 14 kilometers awesome guys this is one of the viewpoints when you are doing the drive back from uh, Semliki and it's cool because you can pull off the road otherwise it's like very challenging to find somewhere to stop but you have a beautiful view into the valley and it's actually quite nice there's a lake boss coming those buses are like for inter-city transport um, in between the different cities. But look at these small uh, butterflies. I don't know where they're coming from, but there's so much of it and it's really beautiful. So if you do, do the route, make sure you stop here and get this view. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.